not to go in or around the pond. Chief Simmons says Pooler is looking at designs for the city's drainage system. For months, neighbors have complained about a Port Wentworth road. They claim this road is plagued with potholes. Yeah, we have been working for you to find out what the City Hall plans to do about it. WJCL's Chelsea McDonald joins with some answers. Chelsea, what did you find out? Well, Kevin and Jennifer, I want you to take a look at these potholes. You can see city official, officials have tried to cover it up with gravel, but that's really not doing the work. And I want you to check out this pothole right here. This one is probably one of the biggest ones in the neighborhood, and you can see a tire can really be damaged if it goes across it. So we went to city, Port Wentworth City Hall, and we asked them what's being done about this issue. And all along, city officials have already been saying that they want to wait to pay for the cleanup for next year's budget cycle which begins in July. Now, Mayor Glenn Jones has seen the road firsthand, and he says they can't wait anymore. We realize now that we can't because of all the heavy rains. We're just going to expedite the process. So actually, uh, Thursday night, I'm going to ask council on an emergency situation to make it a budget adjustment to fix the street uh, because I don't believe we can wait to July or August in a new budget cycle. Mayor Jones says this is going to cost, get this, around $100,000. And you can see engineers are getting started on that process now. So we'll wait to see on Thursday if city council members will approve the mayor's decision to jumpstart this process. We will definitely let you know what their decision is. We're now, I'm reporting in Port Wentworth. Chelsea McDonald, WJCL News, working for you. Now, rain has a negative impact on the roads, right? Especially, uh, if, you have especially those if you have a pothole. It certainly doesn't help. Yeah, so hopefully there's no bumps in the road in the forecast. <laughs> if we do have some showers, our band of showers approaching from the west that will move through as we head through this evening. We're tracking that. Let's take a look at it on our satellite and radar. We've had a sunny, warm afternoon. But coming in from the west, we have a few clusters of showers. And let's take a look at it closer right now on our live radar. As we go up to the northern parts of our area, we're seeing some rain pushing into Hampton from the west. Also, we've seen a little bit of rain near Sylvania. Further south, we have a larger area of rain, and we've even had some areas of lightning strikes from around Dublin and points south. So as this pushes eastward, it's possible that some of you may hear some thunder if some of that holds together. Not looking for any strong storms out of this, but you may get a... a brief heavy downpour as it comes east and then a period of rain behind it. Overall, it looks like the rain will last for an hour to two hours at some locations. Let's take a look at the timing that we're tracking here as we head through seven o'clock. Western areas from Statesboro to Vidalia to Hazelhurst. Nine o'clock, the rain arrives on the coast. It's a quick moving system. Everything is off the coast at midnight except for some clouds. Those clouds will go away too as we head through the rest of the night. Temperatures have been warm ahead of this system today, getting up into the 80s. It's still 83 degrees in Savannah, 65 back in the rain cooled air in Macon. And as we head through the overnight, your low temperatures will average out to around 60 with clearing later. I'll have more in your forecast coming up in just a bit. Thanks, Jeff. Discussions continue regarding last week's horse-drawn carriage accident. This time, the Tourism Advisory Committee met to review safety procedures. Officers released surveillance video. There it is of last week's accident. Yesterday, we told you about a closed door meeting city leaders had with all the owners. The horse companies told tourism leaders there has not been a drop in business this past week. In fact, tourism leaders say this was just a freak accident. Well, this new sheriff in town, not exactly what you're thinking, though. Earlier today, Metro Police welcomed Ziggy to the canine unit. The dog, well, there he is. There's Ziggy. He was trained and will be handled by the department's canine officer. But this dog is a little bit different. It's a different breed. Unlike other canines, Ziggy's only focus is finding guns. Police say finding weapons tossed by fleeing suspects is very important in criminal cases. Plus, it helps keep the public safe. Basically, when we um, chase somebody, see him throw something and we don't know what it is or we don't know where it went. We can bring the gun dog over there. If it's a gun, the dog will go ahead and find the gun. Folks on patrol. Time now approaching 610. Still to come on WJCL News. Georgia's largest employer giving back to the environment this Earth Day. More on how